Hello everyone. Um, I'm going to show you a uh, quick video on uh, Train Sim World 2. Uh, this is um, patches or, or whatever you want to call it to make the game a tiny bit better. Uh, so first of all you go to this website up here which I will then, uh, it will be down in the in the uh, description so you can click on it down there the link will be down there and then you've got all different games you've got train simulator train sim world 2 open rails train sim world 2020 open bve metro simulator and run 8 so we'll click on train sim world 2 and then as you say as you can see here you've got reskin scenarios uh, more skins patches sounds and then utilities so uh, let's click on that there so when you've got this up now, the patches, you can see compatibility. Now, we've just had the update, which is I'm going to call it, as it's on here, Rush Hour and Epic Games. Um, otherwise, if you do Train Sim World 2, the uh, Unreal Engine 4, 4.23, it, it, it's not going to work unless you've got that uh, version. But of course, most of us now, or all of us, should have the updated version of 44.26. Uh, so you can click on that there. So everything you see on here now are for Trains and World 2, the newest version, of course. Now, once you do this, um, I take no responsibility if it does not work, but there's an easier way to refix it, uh, which I'll show you in oh, in a moment. So um, once you've got all this, uh, you, you uh, let's say click on this one here, for instance, and you can read up here uh, how to do this. And then you scroll down, scroll down and then your files will be down here to download. You do not have to unzip these. So once you save these, save it to the desktop or, or put it in a certain folder where you know where these are. And there's some good uh, kind of comments after if you want to read that. So once you've done that um, and, and you've scrolled through whatever you want to download, different weather packs and stuff like that. And remember, this is for Train Sim World 2 on PC, not PlayStation or anything like that so once you've done that we will go over to the game now on the game now if you want to find your folder or you're struggling that you can't find the folder where to drop it these are my uh, little updates here that I'm going to drag and drop soon so uh, the easiest way to do it is right click on the on, on trains and world 2 go to properties then go to local files and then go to browse and then lo and behold that's where you uh, start off. So you want to open this Windows No Editor. Then you want to go to Train Sim 2 Prototype. And then you want to go to Content. And then uh, if I was you, go to DLCs after, because that's where you've got to put these these downloads. You don't have to unzip them. They're, they're, you just have to put them in the DLC folder with the rest of these, because they're .pack files. So don't bother unzipping none of these. Just download it on your desktop or in a folder, and then just drag and drop them all in. Now, of course, when you boot up the Train Sim game, of course, go through some settings maybe and adjust something, see if there is a difference. If not, come back into this folder and just hopefully delete all the ones that you've just updated or the downloadable ones. Um, just delete them off and hopefully your game should work again. Again, I take no responsibility if it doesn't. Uh, this is the first time now as recording I'm going to see what it's like. Um, so I'll try and get a compare from old and new. But that's the way you do it. It's so easy to do and hopefully um, it will make a difference and make the game a titty bit better. Of course, then it all depends when you're streaming it like myself. I'm already getting a bit of uh, slow down frames per second drop and a bit of uh, stuttering and jerky graphics. So if these don't make any difference or they still does the same, I'll probably delete these off anyway uh, so I can go back to the default. But uh, let's give this a whirl and see what uh, happens next.